सी प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड प्राइम नंबर्स बिटवीन गिवन रेंज वी नो दैट अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर पी इज कॉल्ड प्राइम इफ इट हैज नो डिवाइजर्स फॉर इफ इट हैज नो डिवाइजर्स बिटवीन जर्स बिटवीन वन लेस दैन डी लेस दैन पी और इन अदर वर्ड्स इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट अ नंबर पी इज प्राइम पी इज प्राइम इफ इट हैज इफ पी हैज एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली टू डिवाइजर टू डिवाइजर्स A number itself and one. A number itself and one. These are the only two divisors. Then we can say that a given number is p is a prime. For example, a uh, five. Five has exactly two divisors, one and five. Okay. Then six is not a prime number because it has one, two, three, and uh, four divisors. Here it has exactly two divisors. Again, we know that if we consider twelve, that is not a prime number because it has one, two, three, four, six, twelve. So total one, two, three, four, five, six divisors, and therefore it is not a prime number. Again, seven is prime number because it has only two, uh, two divisors, one and seven itself. Now in this program, we are going to uh, print. Suppose if we enter n is equal to ten, then print all prime numbers between one to ten. So the prime numbers between one to ten are two, three, five, seven. Okay. So now we are going to write a code to check uh, to print a prime numbers between a range. So again, see here. Include std. dot h include conjure dot h when when now first uh, we are going to uh, first we are going to print a, a check whether given number is prime or not so integer say mm, p then uh, we are uh, for divisors we are going to write for loop so integer i then clear the screen screen print f uh, take one more uh, counter say count is equal to count is equal to 0 print f or you can use your um, count okay. print f enter Enter your number. Number. Okay. Scan it. Percent D. And P. Okay. Now for. I is equal to two. I less than or I is equal to two. I less than p. I plus plus. Now if p modulo I equal to equal to zero, then count is equal to 1 and else that is uh, if it is uh, if there is no divisors between 1 to p uh, then in that case your count remains 0 uh, so if count count is equal to equal to 0 then print f print it is what a prime number Prime number, number.
number else else it is not a prime number printf not prime not prime number like it completed then i complete the close the main function so to compile here three error statement missing Now you go, uh, run this, and if we enter say five, there is prime number. We, okay, there is one. If if count is one, then we want to break here. Break this. If it is count is equal to one, then break this loop. So, um, now enter number say six. It is not a prime number. Okay, if we enter one more time, say seven, it is prime number. If we enter one more number, say integer twelve, it is not a prime number. Now we are going to print a numbers, a prime numbers between a range. So please, we are going to use here n to print numbers which are prime numbers which are less than n. So enter n instead of this here. We are uh, writing here enter your n. Then here I am writing and n. Then there is no need of p integer p. So here n. Now uh, I am writing here for take one more loop. Say for j is equal to j is equal to two. Then j less than or equal to n. J plus plus. Now uh, this for loop for uh, take the numbers between one to nine, and then by using this loop we are going to check whether it is a prime or not. So here if J, uh, see here, if J modulo i is equal to equal to zero, then count is one, else count is zero. Again we want every times our count should be zero. So here count. Count is equal to zero. So instead of here, it will, the count is equal to zero. For every integer, uh, we want count is equal to zero. So now, uh, here I am going to print. If if it is a prime number, there is no need to write else statement for prime, not a prime number. We are going to print only. A prime number. So if count is equal to equal to zero, then print. It is what print f percent d. Mm, say percent d. Percent D and J. J is what? J. We are writing. Uh, we are uh, uh, here. J. J. We use to now check numbers between uh, two to n by using J. Okay. So now again uh, for okay to. We want two is what it is a prime number. So we want to print two. Yeah, two is first prime number. So we are going to print first prime number here. Print tab. Tab. First prime number is what? Oh, we are going to print. Two percent D percent D two. Now we 
are writing here j from 3 okay so now we compile these three errors statement undefined variable j j is undefined two errors for for i less than j i less than j then compound statement missing so here we are going to close j loop so now if we enter say between say 6 then prime numbers are 2 3 5 if we run one more time so if we enter say 10 then 2 3 5 7 if we enter say here 20 then prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 if we run one more time say here take 30 then 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 if we run one more time say here 100 100 then it prints all the prime numbers between uh, 1 to 100 so here I'm using one more loop here okay. 100 sorry By here, so ten to if we enter here, say hundred. You can see here the prime numbers between uh, one to hundred. 